Trump asks Supreme Court to annul millions of votes in four states. U.S. President Donald Trump has asked the Supreme Court to annul the millions of votes in four states won by his rival Joe Biden. Request came as Trump's latest attempt to thwart the presidential election results that calm Biden. The four states are Georgia, Michigan, Pennsylvania and Wisconsin. Our country is deeply divided in ways not seen since the 1860 elections, the petition of Trump's lawyers team said. There is a high level of distrust between the opposing parties compounded by the fact that, in the elections that were just held, election officials in a number of major states, apparently favoring the partisans, failed to carry out their state elections according to the law. State elections. In his petition to the Supreme Court, Trump was represented by a new lawyer, John Eastman. Eastman has recently become known for spreading racial conspiracy theories that question whether the vice president-elect Kamala Harris qualifies as number two in the U.S. simply because his parents are immigrants. Eastman made the statement in his column in Newsweek last August in a column entitled Some Questions for Kamala Harris About Eligibility. Eastman said the Twelfth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution stipulates that no one has the right to be vice president of the U.S. if constitutionally unqualified as president. Eastman said Article 2 of the U.S. Constitution stipulates that no person except citizens born in the U.S. naturally qualifies for the presidency. Meanwhile, his father, Harris, isn't a citizen of Jamaica, his mother is from India, and also not a naturalized U.S. citizen at the time of Harris' birth in 1964. That makes him not a U.S. citizen of natural U.S. descent and because it does not qualify as Vice President Eastman said in his column. Eastman's statement was even openly supported by Trump. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton also filed a similar lawsuit to the Supreme Court. Paxton asked the Supreme Court to cancel millions of votes in Georgia, Michigan, Pennsylvania and Wisconsin. Echoing Paxton's arguments, Trump said the four states that are battlegrounds with Biden are using the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic as an excuse to ignore the integrity of voting. Trump also accused the four states of ignoring and suspending procedures for a number of laws designed to protect the integrity of the vote during the November 3rd elections. Reported by CNN, Trump urged the Supreme Court to block the four states that in order not to use the election results in 2020 were constitutionally weak unless the legislative bodies in each region direct review of the election results 2020. Trump stressed that if any state has appointed voters to vote at the electoral college level using the 2020 election vote counts, the legislature has the right to appoint a new pool of voters.